For the first time in U.S. history, the child of a sitting U.S. president is facing a criminal trial with opening statements expected today. President Biden's son, Hunter Biden, faces three counts linked to possessing a firearm while under the influence of narcotics. Here's NBC's Alice Barr. In another courtroom historic first, the child of a sitting U.S. president is standing trial. Opening statements today in President Biden's son Hunter Biden's criminal trial. He's accused of lying on a federal form by checking a box saying he was not an active drug user during a 2018 gun purchase and of possessing a gun while using illegal drugs. Hunter Biden has been open about his past addiction to crack cocaine, writing about it in his book, but has pleaded not not guilty. First Lady Jill Biden sat directly behind her son during jury selection. In the end, six of the jurors seated own guns or have family members who have recently purchased them. Four have close friends or family who have struggled with drug or alcohol addiction, a connection millions of Americans relate to and one the Biden family has spoken about in the past. I'm really proud of um, how Hunter has rebuilt his life uh, after addiction. You know, I'm, I love my son and it's had, it's hurt my grandchildren and that's what I'm so concerned about. In a statement, President Biden saying, quote, as the president, I don't and won't comment on pending federal cases, but as a dad, I have boundless love for my son. His son's legal battles have become a political lightning rod. Republicans blasted Hunter Biden's original plea deal, which included no prison time, and it fell apart under a judge's scrutiny. Special Prosecutor David Weiss then charged him for both gun and tax crimes, to which he's also pleaded not guilty.